Hello. Excuse how I may look today. If there's construction going on in my house, so it was a very lazy day. Lazy meaning that basically this is how I woke up. Save for my hair being done. Um, close the window to ten. So this is my hair. It's finished and it's big. When I originally finished it, it was down to here. You can imagine all this hair down to here. So I cut it a lot. Um, let me show you the texture of the hair that I was referring to before. I know you can see it in the packet of the video. So here it is out of the packet. This is what it looks like. And these are the curls I was referring to before. See that? It's just so pretty. So I'm getting my Diana Ross on right now, just all with the floofiness. I like it. Um, I'm not going to cut it again. I'm not going to fit it out. I like it big like this. People look for afro textured wigs and stuff that look like this. Ah, just braid it in. This is basically kinky twist hair without it being twisted. I just left all the ends open. Now the um, issue with this is obviously going to be tangling, but I'm treating it just as I would if it was my natural hair growing out of my head. I plan on detangling it with some water, maybe even some conditioner, putting it to twist when I go to sleep, tying it up, and then when I wake up, I'm twisting it. Now, I may get a twist out of that, I may not, but it's cool because I like all this fluffiness. I love it. I think I look cute. I can definitely work it, and if you want to get all conservative, because I do have an interview on Monday, then what I shall do, something real quick, the easiest hairstyle known to men, take this and twist it all the way in and use something as such to clip all the back. Easy. Easy part cheesy. Look at that. Hello. My name is Kalisha Prince, and you will be hiring me today. See how it works? This does. Um, I can try other styles with this as well. I'll probably mostly leave it like this anyway, because I just love it like this. I just feel so... You make me feel my heart is real. That's the feeling I'm getting with this. But um, I parted it. Me and my funky braiding, I parted it down the middle, but this one keeps popping up. So when I wet it and tie it down, it'll be a lot nicer to me. Um, yeah, this is how it looks. And um, I'm going to clear this up right now. It's not box braids. See? All these, I don't even know if you can see that, but I'll pick up the camera and show you. See how those are long? See the scalp right there? They are not box braids at all. They're the same method I used in the wet wavy video. Just a lot more hair, a lot smaller parts. Uh, they're not tree braids either. I'll show you another example of that. Tree braids is when you use one section of hair and as you continue braiding down, you pull out the hair. And I don't know how to do that. So I did, um, it's like I said before, it's just one piece of hair, then another piece of hair, then another piece of hair. It wasn't very hard to cut. I cut it very blunt, as you can see, and it doesn't look like um, when you usually cut a weave or braids, how it just looks like you have no movement with it. It looks like it doesn't got a trim. To do that, when I chopped it, let me chop a piece for you. Right now, let's do, I don't really want to cut a piece, but, because I think I'm working very well right now with how it is, but we'll, we'll cut that. So this is a piece of hair that I'm cutting, and it in, uh, it's not keeping that blunt look. To avoid this blunt look, just take it and pull it. See? And it's like it was never there. It, it never gets beyond the place where you cut it, but it doesn't look so guillotine, guillotine looking thing. So this is it, and I like it. I'll be experimenting with new styles with this. If you guys decide to join me on this endeavor, let me know. Drop me a comment. I never say that. Drop me a comment. Video response. Say hi. Tell me if you're liking the videos. This is the cute style. Like, for real. If you're not afraid of big hair, I definitely say go for it. Just don't braid the 
Don't twist the kinky twist hair, don't braid it all the way down. But like I said before, treat it like it is your own hair. You have to detangle it because when you go and wash it, you're going to get a big mess. Even when I was braiding it, I had to do a lot of finger detangling. Detangle. Detangle it? Huh, I said it right the first time. A lot of finger detangling, pulling it apart. Even now, when I separate it into sections, I still have to do it rather gently because they still like to get together and correspond and correlate. So before I go to bed, it's really early, I'm not going to bed anytime soon, but just to get it out of my face because even though it's light as a feather, it is hot, I will be combing or probably brushing it with a regular old bore brush. Um, the, according to the package, you're not supposed to wet the hair before you brush it because it'll jack it up <laughs> as it would jack anybody's hair up if you wet it before you brush it. But to hear that sound, it sounds just like your braiding dry afro hair. Um, it's pretty much detangled. I'm not going to be doing anything special with it when you see each individual piece anyway. So I think a good finger detangle is good enough. You don't even need the brush. Just take each braid and make sure they're not making love to the other part of the hair. Separate, separate. Now my spray bottle that I have at my house has water and conditioner in it and I'm not gonna use water and conditioner on this hair because I need that for my scalp. I'm using water and Giovanni leave-in. So about, I'm using it in um, the Hawaiian Silky Bottle. So about this much, that much Giovanni, and like this much water. So it's light enough to just comb my hair and make it feel awesome. And soft and moisturized. So this is how I'm doing that, separating all the, the pieces of hair. And now I shall take some water. Because I was, as I was saying before, I interrupted myself when I was saying it. But I have two spray bottles. One of them is filled with water and Giovanni Direct. And that one is down here in the basement. And the other one is at my boyfriend's house. And that one is just straight up water. And I have two because I don't want to be left in a situation where I have dry hair. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when you wet it. It tames just a tad. So this is wet, this is dry. I just love this hair. This hair is so awesome. It's a good practice for when your hair actually gets longer. I think this, this is a good way to see what you would do or learn how to manipulate it as it gets to lengths like this. And I'm just gonna twist it. Like I said, I'm not planning on achieving any type of twist out. With this, I'm just going to do it so that it's out of the way and it's not a big, huge nest in the morning when I want to go out and look all nice and bushy. And there it is. I'm bringing it all the way down. Regular old twists. <clears throat> and that's that. Cute, right? If I do the whole thing and it's like, ah. <clears throat> Shout out to Leah S. King. Platinum. I'm rereading it. I love this book. Um, Platinum 2, which is probably called like Diamond, is coming out soon. Look out for that. If you haven't read Platinum yet, it's like rap, hip hop wives, behind the scenes, a lot of juicy stuff. A lot of people, based on some real stories, but fictionalized, girl, let me tell you. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do to my entire head. I'm not going to do my whole head on video because this is already about 9 minutes. It'll take about an hour <laughs> to upload to YouTube in high def. So this is what I'm going for um, tomorrow. I don't mind showing you guys what it looks like, what it turns out to look like. I have nothing to do. So see you guys then. Nice to meet you if this is your first time watching my video. Hope to see you again. Later!